Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually explain the different Cisco ASA TCP connection flags. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually when you are troubleshooting TCP connections through the adaptive security appliance, the connection flags actually shown for each TCP connection provide some valuable information about the state of the TCP connections okay so this information actually can be used to troubleshoot problems with Cisco ASA okay so in order to see these connections you can see them in different ways but we'll begin by seeing this TCP connections through the ASDM so if I open the ASDM of my Cisco ASA as you can see here on the home page there is a traffic status graph that shows you actually the connections per seconds and this for the different uh, TCP or UDP connections okay but that didn't provide actually a deep dive into what's going on through the TCP connections so if you want to see the source and the destination IP addresses associated bit with these TCP connections you have to go actually to the monitoring tab so here I will click on the monitoring tab on my SDM okay then I have to go to the properties here as you can see and on the left you can see that there is actually here you can choose the connections okay and now you can get a live view of the different uh, TCP connections but also the UDP connections okay so here for example on the first column you can see the TCP or UDP protocol okay you can see also the source IP addresses the destination IP addresses with the corresponding ports okay and of course you can filter if you want by uh, specifying a port or actually an address okay but as I told you this didn't actually gives you the TCP connection flags if you want to see this TCP connection flags you have to go to your console okay so here I'm connecting to my ASA through uh, SSH and I'm on the privilege mode okay so if you want to see this uh, TCP connections you execute command show actually con okay here we go so you can see here the different TCP and UDP connections as you can see here okay so we get the interface here for example I have the TCP connection from the outside to the inside interface I have also the source IP address the destination IP address the idle time number of bytes but the most important thing for us is these flags that we see here so here on the first line I have for example flags capital U then capital I then capital O okay so before going deep into the signification of these flags I want to show you just some command that you can use actually with this command show connection that will help you to troubleshoot your problems okay so first of all when you execute this command here you can add the keyword details in order actually to get these flags okay so here you can see the different flags with little uh, explanation so for example here capital A means waiting inside acknowledgement to sync okay I have also small a awaiting outside acknowledgement to sync I have also the different also flags and here you can see the first line or the first TCP connection that we get so I get here this TCP connection from this address here with this port here to my inside 
actually computer which is on my local name okay and this is our flags so here I have capital U capital I and capital O okay so we can use this flags in order to see what's going on so for example here capital U signify here it's the connection is up the capital I signifies if I go here to my uh, table it's inbound data okay and finally the capital O means outbound data as you can see here okay but if you want actually to see or to learn a lot of things about these flags you must go you must actually know how the TCP mechanism works okay because as you may know there is a three handshake actually uh, connections between the inside and outside whenever you initiate a TCP connection okay but here I will show you the Cisco page when you can go and take a look in details and uh, beautiful graphics and explanation about the TCP mechanism okay so let me show you the TCP or actually the teardown ASA TCP connection from the Cisco web page okay so this is the Cisco website so here the, the name of this web page it's actually build up and tear down ASA TCP connection flags so here you can see this document describe information about the adaptive security appliance TCP connection flags okay and it will give us actually some uh, examples so here you can see the output of show connection protocol here protocol TCP we can filter by a protocol so if I return back to here to my uh, actually SSH connection so if I do show connection it gives me a lot of connections here but I can filter for example by specific protocol so for example let's uh, just filter by TCP or UDP if you want UDP actually UDP so you can see the different UDP connections but I can also filter by TCP okay I can also specify a particular IP address so for example if I want to filter by an address let's say the Google DNS server for example I can do that so I get only the connections that is associated with this IP address so there are a lot of things that you can do with this command so let's return back to our uh, here site and continue our explanation so here you can see the different flags explain it actually for the outbound connection and for inbound connection okay and this is the connection flags actually uh, state for different machines so here we have client this is trying to reach a server okay from the inside to the outside and vice versa a server on the inside is actually getting some connection inbound from the outside world okay you can also take a look at this TCP connection flag values so here all the other flags that's, that explain the three-way handshake actually mechanism that happens whenever there is TCP connection between a host from the inside to the outside or vice versa okay so as I told you you can issue the command show connection detail in order to get also the flags with your actually detailed connection TCP connection okay so this is just a brief video to show you how you can use this uh, troubleshooting show connection command that will help you to troubleshoot any problem that you have in your network especially when you are connecting a host on the outside and you didn't get a response so you can see in details 
what's going on just take a look at these flags here okay so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye